Hello and welcome back to 3 Minute Fridays, a new series where we'll be building a small thing in under 3 minutes. And to start this off, we are making a diorama on top of a bottle cap. Ever since playing Fallout as a kid, for some reason bottle caps have always had a hint of nostalgia for me, and I wanted to see if it would be possible to create a teeny tiny Warhammer diorama on top of one. Now being really restricted in terms of space, I decided to copy and recreate one of my previous Horus Heresy dioramas, but mix a couple things up. Okay, so to recap everything I've just done, step one, I've scored the bottle cap and added some air drying clay for the base. Step two, I've super glued the resin bits on, and step three, I've cut off a heretic's leg. And finally, we can use some white glue and sand to recreate the desert. And after cleaning all of the sand off the sides, it's priming time. So let's get painting. For the rocks, I use the same scheme for my Crute diorama, which is a Rhinox hide base coat for all of the rocks. And for the sand, some Upshanti bone. And a cheeky base coat of black for the rim. And for the heretic, I use some Sons of Horus green. Now to make sure the rocks pop off a bit, I use some Vallejo Light Rust to add some line highlights, ending with a final highlight of Sandalwood by Scale 75. I really like the way these colours complement the rock for some nice Mesa vibes. To finish the sand off, I added extremely thin down Skeleton Horde contrast paint. Okay, so this is where I give a huge congratulations to whoever paints this well at this scale. Congratulations! Congratulations! I have never painted anything this small. I don't even think I have an appropriate paintbrush for the detail needed. But it was a really fun learning experience. So I decided to paint our marine in the colours of a white scar. So I started with a white rattle can and painted the chainsaw and backpack in AK Interactive's Blood Red with some black accents. But oh boy, the row between his legs. Wow. I have no words to explain how hard it was to see the difference in definition or anything really on something this small. But once it was painted, I covered him and his buddy in a black wash, which I then removed with some spirits. And to finish this little project, I went over the marine and the sand in their original colours for some highlighting. And before we finish the episode, let me know what you think. Do you like the subtitles? It's a new experiment. But a lot of this series is going to be quite experimental, so if you want to see anything weird, wacky or exciting, make sure to put it in the comments because I'm making a list of weird things to do. Not, not that weird. Hobby weird. I've been Reese, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.